Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can make your add to cart button on your uh, Shopify website redirect onto your checkout page directly. So for example here, I'm on the Shopify dashboard and I have an online store here with the current theme Dawn, right? And if I want to click on customize here right now, uh, if I go to a example product here, like shirt, see right now, if I click on add to cart, It'll just add to cart like this and it won't redirect me onto checkout, right? And the complicated part about this is that we need to do a little coding. You can't do this from the uh, designer, from the web designer here. So uh, you have to do a little coding. And what complicates it more is that it really depends on what theme you're using because each theme in Shopify has different code. So there's no one set tutorial on how to do this. But I'm going to try my best to give you a tutorial that's, that you can follow regardless of what theme you use. Right. So for example, here I'm using the Dawn. I'm going to go back to the Shopify homepage here, right? And I'm going to do a Dawn theme here. And I'm going to click on the three dots here. And I'm going to click on this, Edit Code. Now, on here, you want to find a code that says main dash product dot liquid or something similar to that. Uh, it Again, it depends on your theme. That's why it's a bit difficult. But you need to find the code for your main product. The main product being the page earlier on here. This is called a main product page. And the code earlier called main product.liquid is the code for that page earlier. Right. And now we need to analyze a bit of the code. Now I'm going to go back to customize and I'm going to go back to here, example shirt. Right. And I'm going to view this on the page here so that I can inspect the element, right? Going to example shirt and we want to inspect the element of these buy buttons here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on inspect element just like that. And here you can see if I scroll through the elements here, uh, there is, you need to find here, see, this is the uh, buttons that are highlighted. And if you see here, the class is called product dash form. Product dash form here. See, this is the class. Product dash form. You need to remember that. Now I'm going to go back again. I'm going to click back. And I'm going to click exit again. And I'm going to go back to the code here. Edit code. Now on main product liquid, you'll need to find if there is a product form. See, there is one here. It's called product-form.js. So this is the script we want to edit. And I'm going to filter the file. I'm going to type in product-form.js. This one, right? And again, this seems confusing, right? And it is confusing for someone who have never coded before. So I'm, again, I'm going to try my best to... Uh, explain this as best as I can to you. So here we have a function called on submit handler. So on submit handler basically means what should the button do when it submits, right? So we need to modify this so that no matter what happens when they submit a a request to press the button, it'll always uh redirect onto the checkout page. So if they press the checkout or they press add to cart, it'll always uh, redirect them onto the checkout. That's the logic that we're doing, right? Now, knowing that, we need to scroll down until the end of this on submit handler. Again, it really pays, it depends on your team. So you need to really understand the code that you're dealing with with your team. So on Dawn, it's on submit handler, right? So I'm just going to scroll down and this marks the end of the code. So like this, right? It has a open bracket here and scroll down and it has another open bracket here. Now, if you see codes that's like this, that's catch or finally, this is called the error handler and you want to ignore this. This is not part of it. 
So the end of the code is basically here, right? So I'm just gonna paste in a little code here, just like this. Window dot location dot href equals a little single quotation mark there, and then to slash checkout with a semicolon right there. I'm going to click on save. And that's basically on the heart. That's basically on the things you need to do. The hard part was analyzing the code earlier. Now, if I want to click on customize here, and I want to click on example shirt, and I'm going to click on add to cart. Now it's going to add to cart, and it's going to redirect me to checkout. Now it says uh, it failed to load the page, but I think it's because Shopify is having trouble. If I go to here, default page, and I go to checkout, you'll see that it's the same kind of page. So it already redirects to the checkout page. So that's how you make the add to cart button redirect onto the checkout page.